Good day, students. Welcome to this course. Uh, this course is intended to provide a broad scope introduction to building electrical and mechanical systems, material, equipment, design concept, and engineering principles. This presents a material that can provide you as future architects and engineers with a basic working level knowledge of principles and uh, practices. The audience of this course will likely be undergrad, undergraduate college and university students in architecture and engineering technology. So to give you an introduction of this course, so it is an overview of the principles and applications of all basic mechanical and, and electrical system with examples of basic design data focusing on emerging technology and environmental issues such as sustainability, energy use, and human comfort. Second, the basic components and equipment used in electrical and mechanical systems, as well as their role and integration in the development of design, overall design concepts, uh, will also be discussed. Uh, by using essential engineering calculations and data uh, to, in, to illustrate principles, uh, students will gain basic understanding of electrical and mechanical system terminologies with, of course, a basic understanding of uh, sizing procedures and specifying system of equipment and system controls. At the end of this course, uh, students should be able to describe uh, the functions characteristics and operations of electrical, electronic, and mechanical systems and buildings, including power distribution, heating, ventilation, and cooling system, vertical circulation, and fire protection systems in buildings. Second, at the end of this course, uh, students can relate the function, characteristic, and operation of electrical, electronic, and mechanical system in buildings to the overall design concept uh, of sustainable design principles, building construction, and operational strategy. Next, uh, students uh, will perform basic electrical load calculations uh, for simple residential project, uh, heat transfer and HVAC calculations, estimating and approximate uh, size of HVAC units, the ducts, the speed, and the number of elevator cars, and other mechanical components uh, in early design stage. And lastly, uh, you will able to evaluate the interrelationship between building electrical, electronic, mechanical, and other systems to building envelope, space planning, structure, and human comfort. So our first module is all about uh, electricity. So electricity is the most uh, prevalent form of energy in modern buildings. It, it, is, it not only supplies electric, electric outlets and electric lighting, but also provides the motive power for HVAC equipment, uh, traction power for elevators and material transport, and to power uh, all signal and communication equipment. An electric power failure can paralyze a building or uh, a facility. Such power failures uh, often occurs at a, at a district or regional scale beyond the control of the building designer. A properly designed facility or building can, however, quickly return to partial operation through the action of uh, emergency equipment that can furnish part of the facility's electricity needs for a limited time. Given the complete dependence upon the electric power for a normal operation that is characteristic of most modern buildings, designer must be familiar with the basic concept and equipment of normal electrical systems. Our first topic will review the basic electrical relationships with the emphasis on electrical circuits, power, energy, costs, and methods of energy management, and electric load control. Next, we shall describe uh, electrical services, the utilization, emergency, and standby power equipment. 
also we will address uh energy conservation consideration and economic factors then we will be introducing the concept of electrical equipment ratings and capacity and continues with the description of modern wiring systems and their components finally we will draw on information given by the uh, electrical codes to demonstrate uh, straightforward design methods uh, for building electrical system. Next, the discussion of fire protection begins with basic design consideration for fire resistance, uh, smoke management for safe evacuation and for limited smoke damage is considered next, followed by fire suppression systems such as sprinklers and non-water-based approaches. Lighting, uh, lighting protection uh, is, we, we will, will be discussed along with many fire detection and alarm systems that are key to the major stages of the typical building uh, fire. Throughout this chapter, the influence of the fire code the Philippines and the National Fire Protection or NFPA is apparent in the concept design application of uh, fire detection and alarm systems or FDAS, which includes but not limited to detectors, alarms, sprinklers, and other fire suppression system. In our third module, we shall limit the foundation for design decision uh, from conceptual to design development uh, for ventilation and air conditioning only since we are designing buildings for tropical region often these topics are uh, thermal comfort uh, indoor environment quality uh, material consideration for the enclosure can be a source of inspiration uh, or challenge uh, we shall discuss human th thermal comfort the variety of conditions that are generally deemed uh, comfortable and implications of more broadly defined uh, thermal comfort zones. Then we will follow to uh, in determining the relationship of ter uh, building materials thermal performance. Okay? Uh, the passive cooling system uh, next uh, as, a, as an effective energy efficient uh, environmental control approaches. So in many buildings as a result of climate or function, there is a need to supplement uh, passive strategies with active systems. Okay, so these active systems are typically designed by uh, mechanical consultants uh, specializing on these components. Okay, uh, information to support informed decision making uh, regarding these components and systems will be presented with examples, uh, example problems and guidelines. So, it is critical that these systems be uh, studied so we could optimize to conserve resources uh, be in the beginning of our uh, building uh, design. Okay. We shall link the, also the interconnectivity of thermal environment, quality of the building materials, and the enclosure in ventilation and air conditioning design. Our fourth and last module will focus on conveying and vertical transport system. So no system in multi-story structure are taken for granted more consistently than elevators and escalators, uh, which are relied upon to move people quickly and safely under all conditions, including emergencies. This movement should be rapid, uh, trouble-free, and economical. Furthermore, uh, because vertical transportation accounts for 10% uh, to 15% of the construction budget in uh, tall buildings, somewhat less of the building area and somewhat more of the operating cost, and is, de is, a, and is a determining factor in uh, building shape, poor layout, and lobby design. Okay, so. Uh, elevator and escalator selection and design integration are major tasks for architectural designer uh, in all uh, buildings that requires elevators or, or this system. So our reference material for this course are the following. 
Okay, we have the mechanical and the electrical equipment for buildings. Okay, by Walter T. Gronsick and Alison G. Kuo, or what? Uh, in short, M E E B S or MIPS. Okay, and we have the uh, mechanical and electrical systems in architecture, engineering, and construction. Uh, by Joseph Gujek. Okay. Uh, mechanical electrical systems in buildings uh, by William Tao and uh, architect studio companions uh, rule of thumbs for preliminary preliminary design second edition by Edward Allen and Joseph Ayano. So this uh, this four would be our uh, uh, course text, but most of, of our lecture will be lifted on the first two uh, reference material. Okay, so. Uh, we have another supplementary material prepared by the National University uh, uh, Course Material Committee for Building Utilities. Okay, so all of this uh, reference material, uh, except uh, uh, William K. Tao, okay, I don't have the, I cannot find a uh, 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 an ebook for this. So uh, I will provide you the following reference material. So please um, refer to the schedule of our uh, I will po keep posted on the schedule of our topics and the uh, and the pages okay that you're going to read prior to our class discussion and for the grading system okay if you have our class standing that is 70% which includes our enabling assessment tasks so this includes your assignments exercises uh, quizzes and reports okay and uh, major exams or the summative assessment okay uh that is 30 percent okay your your final grade will be computed based on the uh, nu guidelines okay uh, with the uh, with of course with this uh equivalent uh grade point for the final grade so the our course will be del delivered through our institutional learning management system platform through MS Teams and MS Streams and, and MS Streams. Okay. Videos or recorded videos will be uploaded uh, through MS Streams or via YouTube. Okay. So our um, synchronous classes, uh, please refer your our uh, synchronous synchronous classes to to our schedule and uh, keep posted. Okay, uh, on our uh, on our MS Teams uh, plan. Okay, so uh, see you guys okay for for the next meeting and hope you will uh, uh, you will focus okay you will have you will have your focus on this uh, subject okay uh, building utilities is one of the um, major okay um, component of the board exams and uh, building utilities is somewhat around 20 to 25 percent of the uh, board exam in architecture so thank you okay for listening